Hi, Zach at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Beautiful day to look at a beautiful boat. This here is a 1990 Carver. 3467, later known as the 380 Santiago. Very good looking boat, very clean boat. Excited to go through with you. Gonna show you some of the features on the boat. And a lot of it starts right here on the exterior. Good looking shine with that navy white hull combination. You can see the big molded in platform, fender holders in the back, stainless grab rail. But take a look at the beautiful hard enclosure on the back. Now, it's not completely solid. The top of it is a vinyl product, um, very much so like you, what you might see done in a boathouse or something to that effect, but it is extremely solid, gives you a lot of shade in the back of this boat. You're also gonna notice the full bimini top up on the bridge, and it does have a cockpit cover as well. Work your way down the sides of this 30, uh, 3467. You're gonna notice the nice big walk-arounds, but once we get up on the bridge, you're gonna see there's a really awesome way to get to the bow because it has a walkthrough bow nice solid stainless rails going around stainless cleats very tall and very solid bow rails around it love the solid midsection as well all stainless you'll notice up towards the bow the uh, windlass your spotlight very nice anchor up front foot pedal controls big flat bow section and there's that walkthrough that's going to take us right up onto the bridge and we'll take a look at that in a moment. From there, let's take a step on board. Stepping on board the uh, ship show here, you can do it to either side. You've got nice big molded steps to either side. Works your way right inside the cockpit area. Once you're inside the cockpit area, a large aft bench seat in very nice shape has storage underneath it. You also have cup holders to the side of it, but you have a lot of space back here just for entertaining and getting on and off the boat, an exceptional area, and of course those big sliding glass doors bringing you into the cabin. You work your way back to the uh, port side of the boat and you've got two steps that take you into a molded step that are gonna bring you right up onto the bridge. The bridge of this boat is exceptional. It's the highlight in my eyes of this entire boat. The size is unbelievable. If you like to entertain people, you can come up here and have a whole host of friends and entertain people. It's absolutely amazing. Easy walk through out to the bow. So if you're going through a lock and dam or you like to go to the beach, very easy access to the bow of the boat. Wraparound seating on both port and starboard side. You also have forward facing seating right in front of the helm. And as you work your way to the helm area, you've got two double wide seats, all in very nice condition. And from a driver's standpoint, you're very centrally located in this boat. Very appealing looking helm, nice array of gauges. There's a Lowrance GPS. Your compass is center mounted. All your controls and VHF are easy to access. And again, your visibility from the helm is amazing. From that standpoint, let's take a walk down inside the cabin. Step inside the cabin, the nice sliding center door. It's going to bring you right inside this absolutely beautiful, pristine 634. 3467, I'm sorry. Beautifully redone flooring. It is absolutely a highlight feature. They have both the side sofas made into day beds, which is a great way to do it for entertaining. As you step down inside the boat, you can see it's all one level and it's very open all the way through. Take a walk over to our galley. Beautiful three burner cooktop. Microwave down below, your oven, lots of counter space, stainless steel sink, storage space down below. Work our way around and look the other way here. Again, the twin day beds, which can be simply seating or it can be, uh, there's a table that can be put up as well. Other things to kind of noteworthy look at, storage up above on both sides. All new curtains have been done in the boat as well. It gives it a nice fresh look. Storage up above over here on the port side. 
TV is mounted right inside there. Your main air and heat controls mounted right by your galley. And from there, we're just going to kind of continue walking through here. We're going to do one shot, it looks like. Uh, over here, you've got kind of a little bar area with storage. Three-quarter size fridge, 110 and 12 volt. And, of course, your master stateroom. This is incredible in size for this size of boat. Lots of storage down underneath. You have kind of an island set up, so there is accessibility off over to this side and over to the other side. You've got a closet space on both sides of the bed. And then again, the storage underneath. Just a beautiful stateroom in this 3467. A lot of people would argue that the head compartment on this boat is probably a highlight feature. The way you can walk in from both sides and you not only have a nice vanity with your head, but you actually have a usable separate shower. A very nice glassed in separate shower. Good looking flooring on the boat. A little bit of vanity space. Mirror, sliding storage. Your sink, storage down below. But again, that separate shower is really neat. You saw we were looking at the head from the stateroom side of things. You can also walk through this way, and that brings you right into the same area that we were before. Again, cleanliness has got to be a 10. The boat looks beautiful, and the layout is absolutely impressive. So that there is just a real quick glimpse, a quick video walk around of the exterior and the... Uh, cockpit area and the bridge and the interior of this 3467 Carver Santigo, later known as the 38 Santigo. A good looking boat, certainly a boat that should not disappoint cosmetically or mechanically inside or out. A very solid and very beautiful boat. Again, I am Zach at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. I would uh, appreciate the time to talk to you about the boat. Please call, text, or email. We can certainly view it. And I thank you for your time and watching our video.